Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel and in this video I'll be sharing with you things I wish I did early as an international student in the United Kingdom. Some of the mistakes I made while studying and how it affected my program at the same time influences my life after, you know, um, my program as an international student in the uk and i'll be sharing with you how you can avoid some of those things things you need to do to you know give you competitive advantage when you finally land off your program in the united kingdom and the last point i'll be making is going to be the icebreaker or the game changer with your life in the uk as an international student so if this sounds like something you'd like to see just keep watching to the end and click on the like button if you're coming across this channel for the first time hit the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and my returning subscribers thank you guys for being here i really do appreciate you guys so without further ado let's get right into the video so if you recently just moved into the united kingdom on a student visa or you've been in the uk for a while as a student that you definitely want to watch this video to the end as some of the tips i'll be sharing with you you know affect those who recently moved and also those who are currently in the uk on the student visa and for those on post work visa some of the important information shared in this video might also be relevant to your situation so ensure you do watch the video to the end so many international students in the uk oftentimes make certain mistakes and some of the mistakes we made so many people made so many people i know made um influences or affect their life while studying the uk and also after studying the uk and these are some of the things i wish i did early enough and for me i, I didn't do many of those things however um, i wouldn't use the word lucky i i guess i had to work you know uh 10 times more to get what i want to get uh you know compared to people that did those things early enough so for instance i've got a friend i use as um as uh what's it called now as a case study for this video so for him he was able to get a job i think uh, about five months before the end of our master's program and i got my job about two months further than my program now the difference between us is that he did some of the things i mentioned in this video early i didn't do it early so i had to you know um work 10 times more to catch up with the things he did early that you know uh, i never did early and so many people didn't do all of these things and they're still struggling right now so that's all i'm sure with you tips you need to put into play as an international student now the first thing is that you need to prepare for your finances yes so studying the uk is expensive and so many people probably spent uh you know uh you know uh, paid uh their deposits and you know the cost of their flights into the uk and they have like 70 to 60 to 70 percent of their tuition fees still outstanding so one thing you need to do is that you need to plan for your finances because if you don't plan for your finances you're going to spend the first six months in the uk trying to meet up with your financial obligation trying to sort out bills and that will in turn affect your academics in the united kingdom and now that people are not even allowed to come into the uk with dependent anymore come 2024 it gets more difficult now because you don't have a partner that will probably work and help offset those bills so all the bills is going to be on you so if you're coming to the uk make sure you plan your finances and this is the advice i give people when you're coming to the uk ensure that you have your tuition fee paid to at least 70 percent if 70 percent of tuition fee is out of the way you're not going to be in so much pressure to meet up with your balance when you get into the uk so ensure you plan for your finances some of us i was lucky in my own situation you know then i came in during covid and the university you know provided accommodation so i wasn't thinking of accommodation in the uk when i first moved in for my first year so i was definitely lucky at that particular time so people that came in a year after me were not able to access this uh you know um this uh accommodation scholarship so you need to plan your finances just imagine coming to the uk and the, the first day you come in you start paying you know um tuition fee you start paying um start paying for accommodation you start paying for a lot of bills and probably some of you took loans back in your own country you need to start offsetting those loans to back home so you definitely need to ensure that you plan your finances when coming into the united kingdom the second thing i wish i did early was to prepare for academic life yes trust me guys if you're coming to the uk on a student visa i know so many people who come into the uk to study or probably have left the fall of university probably 10 15 years ago and you know getting back into that system can be a bit difficult adjusting and all of that so if you're coming to the uk as a student especially if you've been out of school for so many years you need to prepare for your academic life because academics in the uk is not similar to the kind of academic uh you know uh, experience we have back in our own country you need to do a lot of reading a lot of research 
a lot of writing most especially so if you're not someone that likes writing then you might want to reconsider your choice of coming to study in the uk because most of your assignments are going to be more right research and writing papers so ensure that you prepare yourself properly for academic life you know try and create time to study try and create time to visit the library try and create time to you know have conversations with people to seek help basically because you don't want to struggle with your academic life in the uk because if you don't pass that program if you don't graduate from that university you can apply for any other visa category remember that one of the conditions or one of the things that's been implemented by the uk government is is that if you're going to get a new job you're going to switch visa you must finish your program that means your um, current university must inform the uk home office that uh, mr x has successfully passed or successfully completed his master's program it's after then you can now switch your visa to any visa category you want to be it skilled worker visa or the postal work visa so you need to prepare for academic life in the uk it's not easy but that's the reality so another thing um i wish i did earlier you know in our for our studying is to exhaust the resources provided by the university now guys listen now many of us we um you know we just try to depend solely on the internet to get some information there are quite a number of resources the university provide that we never annex and this is one part i made um you know mistake while i was studying um here in the uk i'm a super intelligent person i know how to find my way around stuff when it comes to academics so i i thought there was really no need for me to you know um use some of the resources provided by the university so now for instance the university has library that you can visit 247 they've got quite a number of resources when it comes to you know writing your cv i think i only contacted the uh, the job help center in my university once to create my cv so even though i did i'm not sure if i will, I will finish that meeting because i had to go for a shift <laughs> at that particular time so you need to exhaust those resources those guys that are you know um, their job is to help you create a good cv to help you create life after school you need to make use of those guys i mean exhausted because we paid for the tuition fee some of us pay as as 14 000, 16 18 000 pounds for that tuition fee so you need to exhaust the resources that the university is providing contact those guys those job help centers in your university i don't know what it's called in your university call them schedule a meeting give them your cv to help you work on it you know get career adv advice from them it's definitely going to help and this was one mistake i made now so, some of my friends that you know exhaust those guys used them in you know in so many ways they were able to get a good cv that helped them land um you know an internship job uh but in my own case i i, I was just struggling i was trying to do it on my own and i wish i didn't get any um internship job during my master's program so make sure you exhaust the resources available or provided by your university now the next thing i wish i did early enough is you know creating my cv and applying early now this is very important yeah um if you're looking at because consider it for that you know unlike before ever you can switch your visa anytime now you can switch onto your finishing the program advise people start pushing out application at least six months uh you know to the end of your program now this is the reason now applying for jobs in the uk trust me it's only one percent of people who apply get their first job on their first application or get their first job on you know um you know, within the first or the first three or first four interviews they went for very few so you want to start experiencing the job markets on time the application the rejections start having them on time so that you learn from those rejections and so by the end towards the end of your program you already master the skill of applying for a job in the uk and eventually get a job but if you start applying probably two weeks to the end of your program trust me you might not get an offer until your current visa expires and you might need to apply for the postal work visa and the job search um continues now the last thing i wish i did early enough which is you know for, for me is one of the most important points is that um try to apply for jobs aside from the care jobs now many people who have been watching my video you guys know this i did care job all through my two years uh, while i was studying and you know it was towards the end of my program i started meeting with people connecting with people and i got to know that not everyone do or not everyone actually did this care job like i did um i recently met a lady that um worked as um a data entry uh officer all through our master's program I was like how did you get this job so this is where connection comes in try and create connection join people on linkedin have conversation with people on linkedin you know ask questions you know <laughs> so when i asked how did you do that you know, she shared with me how she was able to get you know um different um data entry job role uh, because she recently got a job with my organization and she 
also schooled in Newcastle. So we met here in Kent and I was like, okay, that's cool. And she shared, uh, you know, how she was able to get those jobs, you know, in relation to data while she was studying and 20 hours. And I was really impressed. So trying as much as possible to look out for different other job roles that can be relevant to that field you are looking at. And it will definitely help in so many ways. I've got a friend who, you know, got HR role for uh, an internship role in HR doing this program. And before four months five months before the end of our program you already got a full-time job in hr itself and so it's very important to try and get internship role is one of the things that's going to help you sail through or give you competitive advantage after your program all right guys so that's some of the things which i did earlier as an international student if you have any other point to add, please state in the comment section and if you find this video also click on the like button if you're coming across this channel for the first time hit the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and by turning subscribers thank you guys for being here i really do appreciate you guys so this will be the end of this video and i will see you guys in my next video thank you